As a baby, you never get scared of anything. And in you, there is no fear. Permit me to say, large number of people out there have been restricted by their own non-constructive mindset, perceptions, belief that has actually chased them into a shadow of unachievement and failure. One day I was forced to ask the little boy, yo dude, why don't you like playing like other kids do? You know what he told me? He said I have failure issues. And so I try to engage myself in studying always but still I find myself failing in class and subsequently I get mocked by my classmates, whooped and grounded by my daddy each time I feel so sad. So you know what I told him? I said to him, kid, you're smart, intelligent and brave. If you want to conquer these failure issues, you would have to put on your armor of bravery and ride with me and show you how to conquer your fear. You see, life has different faces. It is proven that 99% of teenagers get scared of what they haven't seen but heard. But the day they get to see these things, they ain't scared about it no more. I asked a young lady, what are you really scared of? And she said, I'm scared of COVID-19. I'm scared of heights and I'm scared of dying. And I asked the little boy the same questions and he just said to me, I'm scared of war. Listen to this boy. You know what fear does to you? It limits your potentials, break your capacity, and lessen you to ridicule. Running away from your fear is never an option. Cause it only gives you an illusion of security just for a short moment. So you see, you can never run away from your fear. Imagine you calmly processing the situation and rationally identifying the solution. You spend endless energy soaking deep into something non-constructive. Remember, the moment you spend being scared and fearful, your one large moment far from positive thoughts and feelings so how would you rather spend your time and energy being happy and positive or scared and negative choose your fate cause fear consumes nothing but your energy now let me tell you a story about a young girl called Rive you see Rive is inspired to become a successful psychologist like Lady B day by day she watches an every lady be carrying out her daily duties as a psychologist. Rive is now 25 years old and haven't done anything about her dreams. Rive is not a human being, neither a girl. Rive is a spelling of fear backwards. Rive is being spelled R O A E F and fear is being spelled F E A R O. Now please don't get it twisted, I am basically talking about fear and not rive. You see the oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest fear is fear of the unknown. Fear and anxiety sometimes means we are moving in a positive direction out of the self confines of our comfort zone and in the direction of our true purpose. For you to achieve your purpose, you must learn to face the fear. You think you can face it? Fine! Why not evaluate your mindset and set in nothing but positivity? But mind you, facing it and evaluating your mindset is never enough. You must arise to the standard of positive affirmations which improve your being by its ability of rewiring your brains. Just like the daily workout, they boost the level of feel-good hormones and push your brains to form new clusters of positive and fear-free thoughts. And lastly, I challenge you to reign in the object of your affirmations. You want to be a billionaire? Work on your mindset and live like it. You want to be a psychologist or a doctor? Think it. Work towards it positively and live it. Fear is abortive. 
And the best you can do for yourself is to conquer it. Because fear is nothing but false experience appearing real.